Hello everybody and welcome to Loot Crate for March 2015. Wait, March? January, February, March? April. April 2015. Yes, I should have known I would have gotten that wrong. I told myself five times which month it actually was. Of course I'm going to get it wrong. So here we go. Let's see. Let's open up the Loot Crate. Now this one is smaller than the others. Slightly? Slightly? Yeah, not that, not that much smaller, but it is smaller than the others, so I'm going to assume no t-shirt this month. So let's open it up and find out. I actually did know what the uh, theme of this was, because uh, a YouTuber got it early. Like, he got it before I did and was able to put up a video and all that. I just got mine today. Of course, I always record these on the days that I get them. Um, but I haven't watched his video, because half of the point of these is for that little bit of mystery. Like I said when I first got these, it's like a little bit of Christmas every month. So here we go. Oop. Oh, I was mistaken. We got a sword, we got a treasure map. It's upside right too. Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's like a treasure chest. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we got a treasure map that looks like a city from Dragon Ball Z. Um, we got a sword. It's the Z sword. And we got a shirt, and the shirt looks pretty awesome. It's red, and it has what I swear to God is an alcoholic logo on it. But um, bloop. it's a dragon ampersand. Okay. I think this actually looks better on the viewfinder than it does in reality. Uh, it's a dragon ampersand that's all torn up. Does this actually mean something? Gladen Heavy Cotton. Ooh, yes, this is Heavy Cotton. This is a very, very nice, very well-built shirt. I can't see through it, which is always a bonus, <laughs> unlike their previous ones. Uh, though, was it the last one? Yeah, it was the last one, the the James Bond one with the uh, depressed James Bond on it. Uh, that was a very nice shirt as well. So uh, good on you, Loot Crate, for getting the good shirts instead of the thin one like the little skull kitten that I got the first time around. But, uh, while I don't understand it, I like it. Somebody in the comment or in the comments will have to explain to me what this dragon is if they don't explain it in the, uh, booklet. Oh, dear God, I'm looking inside of this, and what I see inside of it is crazy. All right, so first things first. Princess Bride deck of cards. Oh, that is amazing, actually. I freaking love The Princess Bride. I don't know why. It's one of them romance movies, but it's like a romance comedy movie. And that's a terrible, terrible combination, usually. But I freaking love The Princess Bride. I think everybody does. It's like a cult classic or something. Or it's just a straight-up classic. I actually don't know the definition of cult classic. And I can't open this. Hang on. I have to go find my knife. There we go. Knife found. Let's see if I remember to actually jump cut that, hopefully. Hey, editing me. Remember to jump cut that. I just want to take a look at these cards. Whoop. Come on. There we go. The Princess Bride. And I don't know if you can see that, but that looks absolutely nothing like them. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Oh God, it's the rodents of unusually unusual size. Oh, this is pretty. I like these cards. These are very well-built, well-made cards, too. Nice and slick and smooth. You do some serious magic tricks with these things. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've actually played with cards. <laughs> I'd shuffle them, but I don't want to bend them. All right, moving along, we have... Bow ties are cool. From Black Tie Geek. I think we got the alien card, or the alien tie from them. Black Tie Geek. It is... It's a, it's a, it's a 20 D or D 20 D 20. That's it. It's a D 20 and a dragon. It's a bow tie. It's a clip on bow tie. It's not a real bow tie. Of course it's a clip on bow tie. <laughs> See now, if I had gotten this before VCF, I would have been like, yeah, let's wear boats. Let's wear ties. Cause I would totally wear this <laughs> just to be a smart ass. I would totally, totally wear this. Ugh. moving along. 
Let's go with the Game of Thrones thing. Stark Sigil USB flash drive. Really? It's a, it's a USB flash drive. That's something a little bit more fancy than I expected. Uh, it's it's a lion head, a wolf head. Oh, it's probably the dire wolf thing that you saw in the first episode. And it is a USB flash drive. I wonder how big it is. Does it say anywhere? No, it does not say anywhere how big the USB flash drive is. Let's take bets. Let's say 2 gig, because 2 gig are cheap. I don't think it'd be 1 gig. I think it'd be 2 gig. 2 gigs are cheap. So I will check on that. If it doesn't say in the book, I'll uh, jump back at the end of the video and take a look at it. Then we have a blow-up doll. This shit. How do I open this damn thing? Come on. I'm about to get sick of it. Ah, oh, there it is. I always try to find... Well, that didn't help. I always try to find the flap so I can open it carefully. Yeah, that didn't work. It is... Oh, dear. God, it's the Burger King crown. It's an inflatable Burger King crown. I shit you not. Okay, that's silly on a few levels. Um, that's silly on a lot of levels, actually. I'm just gonna say that straight up. The fuck? That's a the fuck thing. Okay, moving along... We have a nine and three quarters giant pendant. Oh, it's a bag tag. Okie dokie. A bag tag is just something interesting that hangs off the bag. Well, that's weird. Uh, there we go. There's the opening of it. Let's take a look at this thing. Bloop. Uh, it's zip tied, of course. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's. A bag tag. It's so you put your information on the little tag in here, and it just hangs there, and it makes a Harry Potter reference. Okay, I didn't think people were still making Harry Potter references, but eh, the shows or the movies are good, and the books are good too. I like the books. Uh, next, another Game of Thrones. It's House Sigil Magnet Set. Oh, my sister is going to be jealous. My sister freaking loves. Game of Thrones. I, I watched I watched up to episode 3 and stopped when they killed that wolf. I was not thrilled on that one. So, yeah, I, I, I ugh, haven't watched Game of Thrones. All I know is the dragons did show up eventually, I think. Oop. These are nice magnets. Winter is coming, Stark. It, winter is coming, Stark. So are we talking to Iron Man here? Winter is coming, comma space, Stark. Uh, hear me war, roar, Lannister. I would assume Stark and Lannister are like family names. Fire and blood. I, uh, fuck it. Ours is the fury. And it's a reindeer with a crown around his neck. Is that the inflatable crown? Hmm. Bloop. I knew I saw it in here. There is the, I dropped it. There we go. The Loot Crate Pin, which has a map on it. Part of a map, anyways. Is it that map? No. It's not the map on the box. It's just a random map. Okay. Because we have a thing here that looks like this thing here. I don't see the X. I see the dotted line. I don't see the X. Dude. This map sucks. There's no X. Eh. Cheap map makers. And, of course, we have the uh, Loot Crate magazine, the thing that everybody bitches about. It's Loot Crate Fantasy. Yeah, I thought that was it. Uh, D&D Intelligence Check. DIY Comic Notebook Contest Winners. Uh -huh. That was from a couple months ago, wasn't it? Number 21. Uh... Is that actually referencing? No, it just says, as you wish. Uh, I was hoping it was like a quote from the movie or something. It's not. Ah, moving along. Pictures of people using Loot Crate. See, okay, I am up to, um, hang on, one second. Yes, this Loot Crate makes number seven. I still don't have my Loot Crate card. I should probably contact uh, the Loot Crate support people for that one. Uh, what do we got? D&D uh, &D Adventure League. I really don't care. It's been a long time since I played D&D. &D. Uh, fantastic shows and why we watch them. Oh, and why to watch them. 
Oh, so it's it's why should you watch these? A- Avatar the Last Airbender. Uh Adventure Time. Oh dear God. <laughs> my sister loves Adventure Time too. This this crate seems to have been purpose built for my sister. She's gonna be so jealous. The mega crate, we get uh two monitors, a keyboard, a mouse, and glasses. Yeah, it looks like it. Hang on. Asus uh twenty four inch full HD LED lit L C D monster or monitors, LED lit LCD monitors. Okay, so they couldn't go for the full-on LED monitor. It's just the LED lit LCD monitor. All right, whatever. Razor Blade, Black Widow, Chroma, Clicky, Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I fucking hate clicky keyboards. I really, really do. Razor, Death Adder, Chroma, Multicolor, Ergonomic Gaming Mouse. Okie dokie. Custom Witcher 3 Wrapped I Buy Power PC, $2,000. That's this guy right here. Uh, I know nothing about Witcher 3 either. Gunner Intercept Colors. What? Is that this thing? Yeah, E. That's the sunglasses that look like they couldn't be asked to actually take a picture of. They just kind of colored it in. EVGA, GeForce, GTX, 980, Super Clocked, ACX 2.0. That's the video card. I have two of these. Uh, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. That's, uh, the game itself. Alright, so it's the Witcher 3 Mega Crate. Whatever. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt. That's that's the t-shirt. The next time you suit up for a round of gameplay in your own earthly adventures, make sure you are wearing this, sporting the fresh D&D logo. Oh, that must be the D&D logo then. Okay. So why is it an ampersand? Oh, D and D. Duh. That was, uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. This officially licensed cotton fashion tee is sure to earn you a few extra experience points in the style arena. Uh, then we got the Her- Harry Potter luggage tag, which I figured out. Uh, inflatable crown, Loot Crate Labs. Yeah, let's give credit where credit was due. The Loot Crate Labs invented that one. Uh, exclusive RPG bow tie. You know, I'm going to point this out because this just kind of occurred to me. If you're going to give us an RPG bow tie, like a D&D bow tie, you might want to give us a D&D shirt that can go with it. Like, you know, at least a collared shirt, if not a button-down shirt. You know, one would think it would just fit, you know? It would make sense. And then the Princess Bride playing cards, which totally only remotely look like these people. (laughs) I've watched the movie so many times, I'd recognize them on sight. Uh, Exclusive Game of Thrones USB flash drive. It's a 4-gig memory stick. Okay, so I was wrong there. But I wasn't far off. It's a tiny, tiny USB stick. It's a 4-gig stick. Uh, And then the Game of Thrones Magnet Set by Dark Horse. And there's the other half of the map. Hmm. All right, well, that was Loot Crate. Let's take a look there. It's a shield that kind of looks like a Zelda shield. Is it? Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. It kind of looks like a Zelda shield, but it has the Loot Crate logo in it. Creative. Because that looks like Ganon from uh, uh, Link to the Past. Yeah. Creative and geeky. Uh, What does that say? Pull here to turn the crate inside out. Oh, so it actually looks like a box. Yes. So it actually looks like a box. Come on. Let go. Let go. There we go. What do you say? Pull here to turn the crate, crate inside out. All right, this may take a few moments so I can figure out how to uh, turn this thing inside out. Hang on. And there it is. There is our treasure chest. It's got its sword on top and the map. And, of course, it says the document share and joy. And it has its Loot Crate logo. I, I like the box. And you know what? So what do I think of this one? Well, outside of the very, very, very cheesy crown... Which I hope they just went, you know what? Let's just throw this in there as extra, just because we have them. Um, outside of that, this is actually a pretty nice loot crate. We got a really nice shirt. We got a bow tie, which almost makes me wish I actually wore button-up shirts or owned a button-up shirt so I could actually wear this bloody thing. We got a really, really nice set of playing cards. They're nice and slick. You could do some sweet tricks with these things. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not talking about uh, playing poker with them. Uh, we got a 4-gig 
USB thumb drive, which may actually turn out to be useful. This might actually go into my collection. Thumb, thumb drives are insanely useful. I usually carry around an 8 gig or higher, but uh, 4 gig is nice. Uh, and magnets, which I have yet to decide if I'm going to give them to my sister because she would really, really enjoy, enjoy them, or if they're going on my fridge next to the Sonic I got from uh, Nerdblock. And then the Harry Potter uh, luggage tag. Yeah, well, overall, I would say this is actually a pretty good loot crate. I guess opinions will vary greatly, and I'm sh quite sure that this tacky thing is going to uh, taint quite a few people's opinions, but uh, I like it. I really, really like it. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up, and I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.